Hello everyone, welcome to another video of my channel. So if you are watching me for the first time in this channel, let me introduce myself to you. Uh, I am Kishaloy. I am currently a second year PhD student at IIT Kharagpur and before that I was MTech student at ISC Bangalore and I have secured All India Rank 37 in GATE 2017 in Computer Science branch. Now coming to today's video, in this video I will talk about some serious myths about IISC. So I have seen people talking about IISC and they say that as IISC is the best research institution in India, that's why if someone wanted to do their PhD in science or engineering discipline, they must choose IISC Bangalore. And they also keep the reference that QS ranking last year recognized IISC as world's best research institution. And also there is another myth that if you want to pursue your PhD from US universities, you must must do your masters or mtech from isc and then you, are, you will easily get into top US universities for your phd program and most of the time i have seen this kind of comments is made by different gate coaching institutions or different youtubers they keep on saying that you know isc is the best place to do research you know you should go to isc if you if you want to do research kind of work and you know if you do your masters or mtech from isc you will be getting into top US universities very easily but that's not true that's a myth that is not completely completely true. There are a lot of complexities there. It's not so easy that from IIC you'll be getting into top US universities and it's also not true that IIC is the best institution who is doing research in our country. So in this video I'll be breaking the myth because I feel that you know students should know about everything so i'll be making two videos in today's video in the first video i'll discuss that why iic is not the best research institutions considering all the branches of science and technology in the next video i'll talk about that why it's not so simple or straightforward that if you do your masters from iic you'll easily get into top years universities so if you want to know detail about it please do watch these two videos and before starting the video as well as say uh, if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly with us further ado let's get starting into today's video let's first talk about qs ranking so last year there is a news comes that qs ranking has declared isc as world's top research institution and many people have shared this news in different social media platforms like facebook whatsapp and linkedin but does qs ranking signify really isc is the best research institution in the world Unfortunately, no, uh, because this news is half true. People have just read the headline of the news. They have shared across different social media, but they have skipped the main body of the news. Every year, QS ranking ranks different institutions across the world based on some parameters or metric. And one of the parameters is citations for faculty indicator or CPF indicator. Now, what does this indicator say? The indicator says the total number of citations an institute's research paper got over the period of last five years, if you divide it by total number of faculty count what is the number and IIC got 100 out of 100 in this particular matrix that's why based on this matrix only QS ranking has said that IIC is the best research institution in the world so depending upon this specific parameter IIC is best among the world but you have to understand that this parameter is also not a clear indicator of the quality of research going on in an institution because number of research paper number of citations it's something that is very subjective because though number of citations is a metric for good research but it never signifies the quality of research uh, because it might happen uh, ISC professors paper is getting a lot of citations but that is mostly from the national level researchers and it's not at all appreciated by the international researchers. that's why you can't say just by looking at the citation count that this paper has an impact on the international community of research so that's why citation count is not at all a good 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 metric to signify the quality of research. On the other hand, number of faculty members is also something that is not a good metric or good indicator of the research going on a particular institution because it might happen that ISC has a huge number of researchers uh, as, as a head count but maybe all of them are not equally good uh, in their respective research area. That's why these things, citation count, number of faculty members, these are not at all a good indicator, a good metric about the quality of research that is good get, uh, going on in a particular institution. That's why though QS ranking is saying based on this CPF indicator that ISC is the best research institution in the world, but it, 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 it is not matching the level of top US universities like MIT, Harvard or Stanford. Now coming to the next question, is ISC even the best place in India to do research in any discipline of science and engineering? Engineering? Unfortunately, here also answer is no. 
Overall, if you consider IIC is a bit better place to do research than all the IITs and other research institutions. But it might happen on a specific area of research. If you go to the micro level, you might find IIC is not the best place to do research on that domain. And maybe some other IITs or some, some other research institution in our country is doing better research on that particular domain. I can give you an example of my own stream. In CSE, there is major three broad area of researches. That is theoretical computer science, system and artificial intelligence. Now in theoretical computer science, IIC is really good and IIC is probably one of the best in the world because there are a lot of quality researchers there and lot of good research lab is there. They are doing incredible research work in the, in, the, in the area of theoretical computer science. But on the other side, if you look into AI ML area, IIC is not at all good. They are lacking good researchers, good research lab out there. And, and, and I personally feel IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kharagpur even is doing better research on AI machine learning domain than ISC Bangalore. Now I will show you some statistics uh, that will actually prove what I was trying to say. Uh, so we have a web page that is called CS ranking uh, which is computer science ranking and this, this web page actually gives the ranking of different institutions across the world based on computer science research. And uh, if, you, if you go to this uh, particular web page you have to first select the India. So there are some other countries also but I have selected India because we are talking about Indian research institutions and I have taken data for last 10 years. And as I was saying, there are broadly three areas of research in computer science, that is AI or machine learning, system and theoretical computer science. And there are some other, you know, interdisciplinary areas also. So what I have, I have done is that I have only selected AI and machine learning for the last 10 years data. As you can see, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi is coming as number one, number two and ISC Bangalore is coming as number three. And there also one thing is there that IS is coming in number three because of this particular professor that is Parthar Pratim Talukda. He has done some great work for last uh, six to seven years and he has around 38 publications. But the thing is that this professor, uh, this particular researcher or faculty member, he is now in leap or sabbatical and he's working in Google research and he's not taking any PhD student uh, for, for last uh, couple of years. So that's why if you remove him, I think ISC Bangalore will come even below IIT. Hence though people say that IIC is the best research institution in our country, uh, if you go to micro level you might find that on a specific area of research or specific domain of research, other IITs are doing better than IIC. Having said that IIC or Indian Institute of Science is obviously a big brand than all the other IITs when it comes to research and development in our country. But you have to understand what is important in your PhD or research life. In PhD and research, your PhD guide your peer research members, research lab, that plays a crucial role than the institution. So suppose you are interested on a domain uh, on which IIC is not good, but you still join IIC for PhD, then you might join a lab where there is not much peer members or researchers or senior researchers there. Your guide also might not be good. Uh, you might not have a good collaborator. Then what will happen is that your, your, your research life won't be that smooth. Uh, you will struggle to get the research problem then you know you won't be getting any collaborator and it might happen that whenever you are running the experiment you stuck into somewhere and there is not much senior researchers who can help you that time and eventually your paper will come late and that will make you a bit frustrated even though you are doing your research at IIC Bangalore. On the other hand if someone joins a good IIT where there is a research lab who is working dedicatedly on that area of research and doing great job then your guide will be good you have some other peer researchers and senior researchers who are doing dedicatedly on that area of research then that you'll be getting easily collaborations with the other people from industry also you'll be easily getting the problem statement whenever you'll be stuck into the experiment there are people to help you and 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 even even your publication will come easily so your research life will be smooth and and easily you'll be you'll be get out of the phd after publishing the required number of papers and at the end of your phd life your number of papers and the quality of papers matters from where you have done your phd that is not not that much important so that's why if you have done your phd from a good iit from but from a very good research lab on a specific area of research then your PhD will be a good PhD you will be having a good amount of papers of good quality but on the other hand suppose IIC is not the good that good on that area of research then if you do your PhD from IIC eventually your PhD won't be that good yeah that's it guys that's it about whole story these rankings and all these are just number that doesn't signify the 
you know micro level information that is going on and for your research your research lab and research guide and this co-researchers are more important than the institution so that's why you know if you are if you are thinking of doing your phd from india don't just blindly go for iic just you know have a survey whether on a specific area of research on which you are interested whether iic is doing at all good work or not if it is doing good work then you can obviously go for iic but it might happen some other research institution like iits or tifr they are doing better research than iic on that specific area of research then i would suggest you go for those institutions tie up with the better researchers or better research lab uh, who are working uh, working on that specific area of research than IISC because this brand name that matters a bit but if your PhD is not good then at the end of the day you, you won't be having good publication and that is the thing only matters your number of publications your quality of research that matters at the end of PhD from where you have done your PhD that doesn't matter that much so that's it guys that's it about this video if this video uh, you find it helpful please like this video so that you know i get more reach and if you are new to this particular channel please go through my channel i used to make videos regarding phds uh, gate iits isc and if you if you if you find it relevant for your own life please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye